Hey, it's Dana with Fabulous Style, and I have a thrift haul for you. I've been doing quite a bit of shopping lately, so I have a lot of stuff to show. Um, I'll just get started. This is a bag that a couple videos ago I was, it was like sitting over there because I had conditioned it and so I didn't add it. So here it is for this haul. This is, it has a couple of towels in it. But it's super soft. It kind of reminds me of like a baseball glove. It's so soft and just the kind of leather that it is. And it's kind of like a puffy print. And now I'm forgetting. I'm going to have to take my towels out of here. Um, I forgot what brand it is. Oh, yeah. It's this. Uh, no, no, Eva Dive. I don't know you. <laughs> I've had this um, brand before. I've seen it at TJ Maxx. It's made in Italy. It says genuine leather. It's really, really clean inside. And so when it's completely full, it almost looks like a duffel bag. But I think if you just had your regular um, stuff in here, like a regular purse, it's, you know, it wouldn't seem big. It's really not that big. It's just a really nice handbag um, that I conditioned. There was, you know, it's got a little bit of rubbing up here just from being under your arm, I think. So um, the leather is starting to kind of fade, but I put a bunch of conditioner on it and it kind of brought it back to life. So have that. I, I bought this quite a while ago. I think I paid $8.99 for it at Goodwill. Um, and then the other night at Goodwill, found some booties. I so wish these were not a size narrow. They're gorgeous. They're just butter soft. These these are J. Peterman um, booties and they've been maybe worn one time or just worn in a store. They had $6.99 on these and they're just incredible. Incredible butter soft. Um, I love those so I'm gonna get those listed and hopefully sold. And like I mentioned in my last video, I'm going to try to start taking pictures of things and putting them on Instagram. It's Fabulous Style Gal on Instagram, and I'll try to put the link below this video um, if you'd like to follow me there. And anything that you see in my videos, sometimes it, gets, it takes me a really long time to list stuff from after I show it in a video or buy it. Some of the stuff, I, I bought a pair of Ferragamo... Um, uh, denim shoe flats. They were so cute with this little tiny heel. They actually weren't flats, but I, I listed them and they sold right away. So I don't even have those to show you. If I can figure out how I might insert a picture, <laughs> but we'll see. I don't, I'm, I'm trying to get back into editing videos. I used to with my computer, but then I started using, um, a phone to tape, to tape my videos. So anyway, here's another little set of booties. These have a little bit of wear on the bottoms and they remind me of kind of like an ostrich pattern. They're suede, different colors of suede and the brand on these, they're size 7. Uh, I don't know what happened to the tag. I think they were also $6.99. They, it's inside here. It's kind of worn away but it's Chiarini. C-I- C-H-I-A-R-I-N-I -I from Buenos Aires. And so, um, they're so cute. They're just really cute little kind of western-y style um, booties. So, bought those. I also kind of took a chance on these. I think these must have been sold. I don't know if Isaac Mizrahi, if it's QVC, HLN, what um, show what channel he sells on now, but I found this really nice pair of flats there. They don't look like they've ever been worn. They were also $6.99 silver flats, and I did, I looked them up, I found the exact same style, and they had sold, like one of them sold for $38, and then one of them sold for like $98, so I don't know if this is, you know, one that they had on their his show, and it's now discontinued, or, or what? I don't know, this one, I Snake, 
Ice Nailian 2? I don't know. I don't know where this... Oh, they're a 10. Size 10. So, uh, I'll list those, see if I can sell them. I bought this wallet just because I really like how... Um, like the quality of this. It's Dax, D-A-K-S. Um, not like super expensive, but this, I don't know, just this metal, the logo thing here is really nice. And then inside it's got this kind of like hologram type tag. And I don't think it's been used. It has a signature lining that says Dax all over it. And I think it was just a, a wallet somebody purchased and then never did use. They had $6.99 on it at Goodwill, so I went back and forth, back and forth, about whether I wanted to spend that much on a wallet that I'm not gonna use for myself because I don't know if I can resell it and actually make any money off of it. But I thought it's cool enough. I like the plaid. It feels like it's kind of a coated leather um, pocket on the back, so there's not any, there's brand, well, it's this brand on eBay, but none exactly like this, so, um, same, some same day, everything, for $2.99, I picked up this little tiny <laughs> Brighton, um, coin purse, it has, it's got like two sections in here, I suppose, if you want to separate coins and maybe put some bills in there. I don't even know if you could even fit credit cards in here because it's so slim here. And then down here has a spot. I suppose you could put like a key in here and then some cash and just like put it in your, you know, where it would literally fit in your pocket. Put a lip balm in there too. And then, you know, if you're creative, if you don't like carrying a purse, you don't want to have your hands completely free, you could fit, you know, quite a bit of stuff in here, but nice little leather um, coin purse. Um, I also picked up a pair of, they had a whole bunch of these in green. This was the only pair that they had in brown. They're Danner Boots Laces, 63 uh, inch. They were $1.99 at Goodwill. I figured these are probably like $10, $12 if you bought them through Danner Boots. Um, they're the medium length for 18 eyelets. Anyway, my son said he needed some for his work boots, so it worked out perfect. And then, a couple weeks ago, one of the thrift stores that I go to every year, they kind of save up all their designer pieces of clothing, and then they have like a special sale of designer stuff and sparkly party type things. So, I went to that. It was one specific evening, and I bought a few things. This is the pants to a suit. It's Escada. And this is like a wool, silk and wool blend. It's a really nice, um, thin, lightweight fabric. That's Those are the pants. That's this other stuff. Bell. And this is the jacket. I bought it, of course, because of the jacket, because the jacket is really gorgeous. It's long. It's a nice long duster jacket, and this looks really nice with like a sparkly sequined top under it. The buttons are kind of like, you know, onyx and silver, so it'd be gorgeous with a black sequin top or a silver sequin top or just a white button down top. I already have this listed um, and I took pictures with both because you know even though it's a nice long jacket you could still wear this for daytime um, but it looks great as an evening suit and then another suit this came as kind of a three-piece um, set it's St. John St. John Basics, this is medium. The shell, I think, is a size medium, just a plain shell top out of the Santana knit, and then some black pants that were a size 10. So I have these all listed together. And gold buttons, just a beautiful, you know, St. John set 
in the size medium. Very versatile because you could put a St. John skirt with this and um, use the pants, use the shell. Um, these are the pants that went to that. Just plain, you know, pleat front. Probably from, you know, a few years ago. Not brand new style. And that's the shell. Just plain, plain. And then this brand, I think I had seen it before. This is kind of interesting. Um, comes with, was just a, that's the back, flat front, plain pants. And then um, this jacket is kind of cool. It's got like a gross grain ribbon and giant snap closure. The arms are kind of like a puffed arm and it's I'm not even trying to say this one either Magashoni Magashoni um, this brand it's an 18W so that's kind of one of the reasons why I bought it it's a larger size collection Salon Z it's hooded it's just cool you know it's like kind of casual but dressy too you know in an artsy way so I have that listed also on eBay then, oh, the other day I found this, just listed this last night on eBay. I live, you know, in Oregon, a lot of skiing here. So this is a, a one-piece ski suit. Um, it's North Face size. I think it's a men's large. Um, kind of, you know, I mean, like, these are really more like, 90s early 2000s kind of color scheme um i don't know i haven't looked on their website to see what their one piece snow outfits look like now but these are great for snowmobiling and you know skiing i mean it's it's nice to not have a separate jacket and pants so these uh should it should sell pretty quickly um because i didn't uh list it for too terribly much um, did find another Oregon Ducks hat. So that's that. Oh, the other men's thing I found the other day was this Ariat men's coat. It's kind of like a work. It reminds me of a Carhartt jacket. It's like a work coat. It's a size men, medium, men's medium. Um, should be able to sell that pretty quickly now that it's winter. Um, and then the other day at Goodwill, I found a bunch of clothes. This skirt is masuk medium, and it's just like a long, straight skirt. It has a slit on the side. So, perfect masuk skirt, if you love masuk. Then this, I had never heard of this brand. This is called Fry Days. It's F-R-I-D-A-Z-E. -E. And it has quite a following. This is a linen, just a long, plain linen jacket, but it kind of has like a flouncy pocket. <laughs> the pockets, the front hangs down, kind of like a handkerchief hem. It hangs down um, lower in the front and just a zip up tunic jacket and then I bought this I haven't really been buying any Eileen Fisher stuff but um, I will start picking it up usually when I see Eileen Fisher it's at the one it's at the kind of like a smaller boutique thrift store and they'll price every you know all their pieces like twenty thirty dollars so this was at Goodwill. It was $6.99, I think, or $8.99 maybe. But it's just an open front cardigan in kind of like a periwinkle blue. It's really pretty. It's like a navy that has a little touch of purple in it. So I got that to resell. Then this is a Peter Psalm dress, which I looked up and it, they sell it at Anthropology. But then after I bought it, I got to looking at it, and it actually was made for Design Nation, which I think is a like, kind of like a less expensive store. But I still thought it was cute. Probably might hold on to that maybe till... It would be cute with a jean jacket, but 
uh, more of a summery or springy dress. And I don't remember, I bought a bunch of these dresses I got half price, so I don't remember if this one was half price or not. I think it was $6.99. Um, this, these two I know were half price. This was a, is a Calvin Klein um, dress. It's four, it was size 14. It's just kind of a nice, like an oatmeal color um, pleated dress. And it has a black um, border at the bottom. So, I, um, before I forget, I also found this, this last Tuesday. I bought it because it was on the dollar rack. It's a, by a brand called Wallpape Her, H-E-R. <laughs> and I just thought it was cute. This reminded me of a Hello Kitty bow. <laughs> but cute little cardigan scoop neck. And then yesterday I bought this J. Crew suiting dress. It's kind of a, it's got this cute little cap sleeve. It's a really nice, like a thin wool suiting fabric. Also a size 14. It was half, I bought, mostly bought this too because they were yellow tags. This was $6.99, so I bought it for $3.50. And this other dress, the same thing, it was $3.50. Um, so I kind of searched this. I don't think there was ever a belt with it, although you could add a belt. It's got a seam here and a back zip, and it's just, a straight dress really cute super plain j crew nice little dress for for spring you could wear it now of course with a jacket or a cardigan then i bought this dress um <clears throat> i think they make this brand is mostly evening wear it's maria bianco nero um, it's a size small lace dress. I have the inside things holding it up. It's a cute little, like a bodycon dress. You know, it's all nice and fitted through here. Rounded neck line. And then it's got, you know, pretty little border. You know, the lace runs different directions on it. Gorgeous little dress. This one, I believe, was $6.99, um, so I got that. Be pretty for summer, but even a party dress now. Uh, this was another one of the St. John outfits that I got. This is a St. John evening, the whole outfit, the pants and the jacket. It's navy blue. They're both St. John evening. It's interesting, though, because this collar is removable. It just buttons on to here so you can remove the collar and then it just becomes like a collarless jacket but ha still has these rhinestone buttons so definitely not necessarily a daytime <laughs> but you could wear it if you don't like the collar you could wear it without the collar and then also the sleeves come off the cuffs come off also too and then it's plain at the bottom so you could wear it plain, even kind of, you know, with just if you just want the subtle sparkle of the front buttons. So that I also have listed on, it's on eBay. Um, I also list things on Mercari and Poshmark too, if you want to check out my listings. This was on the dollar rack. It's a Coldwater Creek medium. Um turtleneck sweater the cable knit just nice and simple it's really soft kind of that blankety cable knit um this one oh yeah this i bought this at that sale that evening sale uh this is a pamela mccoy i'm seeing this more and more i don't know if this is all oh i think this is also a brand that sold like on qvc or hln it's a leather, it's all leather jacket. It has the tags. I didn't notice, oh, it's cool the way, that's kind of the back of the sleeve. This is a really cool jacket. I think I'm gonna say, I'm gonna wear this myself. It's got these kind of cool along the edge, they're little knots um, of leather. But I noticed after I got home that the button is gone. 
So I think I'll just take it with me to the fabric store and just buy a gold button, something subtle that won't, that you won't even notice. But it's a really nice jacket, the way it's cut, it's nice and fitted at the waist. I really like this. And then the last thing I have to show is this uh, Valentino suit. And a lady that works at that thrift store where they had this special sale, she came over, she donated this herself. She said she wore this suit years ago back when she was a professional woman. She's retired now. But it's a gorgeous I lo um, wool. I love the, the way it's kind of a crisscross design. Um, three button, just a really plain suit. Has the... Um, the skirt is just a, a straight skirt, and I didn't look to see what it's made of. It's probably just wool. Feels like it might have a little bit of silk in it. Um, oh, that is not the last thing. The best thing that I bought is a Burberry wool coat that I have listed. Um, oh, I have it in the back. It'll be in my next haul if I don't sell it <laughs> and ship it off. But I bought this beautiful wool Burberry coat. That was, it was like the talk of the sale, but it was a size, it's a size two. Oh, I'll just go get it and add it since I'm gonna have to splice this video anyway. Okay, so this is the next day because <laughs> I didn't have a chance to finish this video. So what I wanted to show you was this Burberry coat that I found um, at that special designer um, sale at um, Gently Used. This is, it's like a pea coat. It's cool though, because this, like the front is kind of rounded here. There's no belt to it. It's a wool and cashmere coat. It has this really pretty rounded collar. I paid $30, I'm sorry, I paid $60 for this. They still have um, a Prada coat over there that's like a caracule. Earlier I said it's not for, caracule is wool, <laughs> and so is that coat. So I don't know like if it, what kind of wool that is, but I'm gonna keep watching that coat, and if they mark that one down, I might would buy it for maybe like $40. So we'll see, it's tiny though. The stuff they, the really high-end stuff they get there is from this lady that sends all her stuff from back east. She's a friend of one of the women who volunteers there. So she has amazing clothes. Um, there's the Burberry tag on that, but she's teeny tiny. So the very last thing for this haul is the other day I went to Goodwill and I had my bag over my arm and it was pulling on my neck and shoulder and I was, it. I was sore, so I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna buy another one of those. I found this little crossbody. So I just wanted to pick up a cheap little bag that I could use that day. This is like the same size as the satchel bag that I showed in my last video, um, but it's kind of bronze color. It's really cute, you know? I think it came from Target and it's not the best quality, but it's definitely a cute little bag to use um, for a while. It holds my wallet, my phone, and my car keys. Um, so that's all I need when I go in shopping. It's got a couple little pockets under here. So I picked this up for $6.99 so that I could use it that day, but I've actually been using it ever since. And, uh, that will conclude my thrift haul. So thank you so much for watching. This is a little bit longer haul, but I found a lot of stuff and I had a lot of stuff in it. So um, I appreciate you watching to the end, and please subscribe to my videos, and um, check me out on Instagram. <laughs> See you. Bye.